five, four, three, two, one. This video is sponsored by Truco Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, James Kaufman, World News Report today. I want to let y'all have a little bit more information about the trillions, if not quadrillions of cicadas coming through. We'll do a proper opening, though. James Kaufman, World News Report today, April 10th, 2024, ACR. April 10th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what I want y'all to know. Uh, all the cicadas coming out of the ground have caught some kind of virus, is what it is, and it makes them hypersexual and it turns them into zombie cicadas. And actually, it's a sexually transmitted fungus, and it makes their things fall off. I'm not kidding. That's what it does. So as you can see, hypersexual zombie cicadas that are infected with sexually transmitted fungus expected to emerge this year. And when you get into it, it actually makes their, it's white. See the white pus here? That's what it is right there. And, well, we'll show you. But some of them will be zombie cicadas. They're infected by a sexually transmitted fungus that makes them hypersexual. Uh, you'll find somewhere in this article that it makes their thing fall off. Let's see. A third of its body is replaced by this fungus. That is really bizarre. Very, very scary. Do you want that fungus touching you if it makes their things fall off? Very, very scary. Let's see if uh, it says that. Uh, they can't mate. It's unsuccessful. Because their back end is a fungus. But they also pretend to be females to get males to come to them. And that doubles the number of cicadas that are infected individuals can come into contact with. Let's see if it says that most articles do. I've already read several of them. Uh, let's see. Clear. It's called the Masaspora cicadiana fungus lays dormant for years but begins to become a puppet master when the cicadas reach adulthood it's a bizarre situation for an insect fungus has uh, well has had to change its strategy so basically it keeps the host alive long enough to maximize dispersal dispersal it is unclear how the fungus would affect other wildlife or humans at this time. Uh, we do know a lot of animals are gobbling these cicadas up as they are emerging. Snakes, birds, it is possible to even have effect on animals that eat them. This fungus. Uh, and if you'll read into the fungus a little bit more, eventually it kills them and they're not able to mate. And it makes their thing fall off. That's the male, the male cicadas coming out. U.S. is thinking about joining Israel to launch a counter a strike against Iran. Let me just state this. Bad idea. And they're going to do it in the next day or two. Y'all get ready. Bad idea. Now, Iran, in the meantime... Uh, is sending troops, ground troops, which I know that we could wipe them out in a minute, to Israel, to surround Israel, just like, well, it's biblical, right? All right, this is very bad news for Biden. Red hot inflation prints. 
uh, we've heard that this consumer price index, we're paying more now than we've pretty much ever paid. So we're having some real problems here. I do have something a little bit simpler than this, but everyone says just month over month, we jump up 3.9% just on just general merchandise. Uh, February to March, another 5% increase in prices. Wait a minute. That's, well, that's 9% in two months. 9%. Hello. Very scary situation today in the markets. Alex Jones says he's going to sue after hearing this ex-FBI current CIA agent talk about how they intentionally took him out. Of course, I believe that he works with them, but not against them. Just my personal belief. The U.S. deficit, we, we, we are over under by $1.1 trillion in just the first six months of 2024. Spending hits highs, its highest ever. So imagine that, guys. Just in 2024 so far, We've run up another $1.1 trillion worth of debt. Uh, this is going to turn out to be a bloodbath, and I don't think anyone's going to escape. Most people don't realize that all the commercial real estate is going bye-bye. Everything's closing. People aren't going back to work after the COVID. They're working out of the houses. Who, who has all the mortgages and owns all the all of the building loans, all the banks, regional banks, local banks, large banks, all of them, they've got their hand in real estate. That's their number one thing they have their hand in. And real estate, commercial, definitely commercial. And uh, residential should be okay, but all types of commercial from strip centers to office buildings are going to break every single bank in the U.S. over the next 12 months because there's nobody in the buildings. Even here in the Woodlands, there's nobody in the buildings. If you all saw my video on this, I think the trial is just about over now. If Stormy, uh, Stormy Daniels admits to writing the letter that's in my video, y'all go check it out. It's on this channel. Uh, if she admits to writing that letter, well, she denied the affair seven years in a row. Now, all of a sudden, someone's either put her up to it or she saw that uh, writer, we call her a writer, she's not much of a writer, get paid. So she's wanting to get paid too. Heck, I want to get paid. I think Trump did something to me in a Macy's, in a Macy's dressing room about... 20 years ago is what I'm thinking. I'm just not sure yet. Right? Look, Iranian strike on Israel imminent within the next 24 to 48 hours. This is coming from this is coming from Al Jazeera and it's coming from uh well Iran picking this up on the chatter chatterbox. So they're about to blow Iran out of the water. Let's hope they have everyone's uh, address that they need. If not, I'm sure I can make it happen. How's everyone doing tonight? Let's give a shout out to CR first on. Diane, nice to see you. Teresa. Uh, Carrie, the destroyer is here. The destroyer. Mr. Ray Stovall, great to have you. Lois, great to see you. Diane, great to see you. Uh, let's see. Crazy K. How are you? Good evening, Aurora Storm. Bunkers, Britain. Great Britain. All right. In the house. The United Kingdom. Am I wrong when I say United Kingdom? Uh, which is made, of, made up of five provinces, including Northern Ireland. Most people don't realize that the northern tip of Ireland belongs to the United Kingdom. And most of Ireland is its own country. I like to explain that to people from America because they don't travel a lot and they don't know their geology just great. So, first, the Senate and House made rules that FISA 
couldn't spy on any of them. And President Trump went on True Social last night and asked any Republicans that are really Republicans, and I do have the list of the, the 16 people that blocked the bill, there will be no more FISA warrants. Huh? 19 Republicans. I have the, the list. To defy the tyranny, they voted no to anybody having a FISA warrant. What in the heck is the FBI going to do? They pulled thousands, tens of thousands of FISA warrants out of their hat to spy on people. Now they're going to really have to do it illegally, huh? Well, they just voted no. Because of these 19 Republicans, which I do have their list, these are all patriots. They actually, you'll hear Byron Daniels say we did it because Trump asked us to. And that's exactly what happened. Kill FISA. It was illegally used against me and many others. They spied on my campaign, DJT. It's all they put up, and guess what? They killed it. Surprise, the House blocks the bill to renew FISA warrantless spy program after push from Trump. It's epic. Probably the best news I've ever heard in my life. Now we've got to get to these social media companies. This is a Federal Reserve principal economist who reveals to O'Keefe Media Group that the Fed chair, Jerome Power, wants to be remembered in history for undermining Trump. Says conservatives are dumb and discriminated against at Federal Reserve. Now, I'm not going to play the video because it's way too long, but that's what it says. <laughs> that's what it says. Unbelievable. I think it's 14 minutes or something. All right. Joe Biden looking for votes. How can he get some votes? He's thinking if he pardons or drops charges against Julian Assange. Julian doesn't look like this anymore. They've just about killed him after his stroke and after all the pressure they've put him under. They've yanked him around like a rag doll for reporting. Reporting facts, not disinformation or misinformation. It was video of actually what occurred. People with cameramen getting, well, taken out by helicopters with cannons. Cameramen that they thought had guns. All right, that was the truth. That's why they're so embarrassed. And that's why they've always been after Assange because of that one video in the square. Those were all cameras, it turns out, right? Sad. I think they had one or two bodyguards with them, but cameras. Now, this one should make everyone laugh, right? Biden says he is examining his power to close the U.S. border after admitting record-breaking numbers of illegal immigrants, surpassing populations of 36 individual states. But he finally realized they aren't going to vote for him. It was a big plan, but it turns out none of them are going to vote for him. They know what and who he is. They know why they were allowed in. They want the old America back, just like we do. Uh, his He could close the border in three seconds. All he's got to do is go down there and say, secure it. And, hey, put some snipers up, put a fence up, put some landmines up. Uh, I, I can go on and on and on and on. You could get citizens, citizens down there. Uh, every mile, half mile, whatever you want. Heck, they'd probably even be able to supply their own weapons. And anyone that crosses the border illegally, well, <laughs> what do they do in every other country to anyone that crosses the border illegally? Go, to, go try to cross into Russia or go try to cross into China or go try to cross into anywhere for that matter, see what happens to you. You'll end up under a prison cell somewhere. Yes, you can stop it, and you know you can. All right, this is scary, because every time they have some kind of uh, hypothetical uh, search, New Jersey National Guard Weapons of Mass Destruction Team what do they need a weapons of mass destruction team for? 
conducts hypothetical search for a nuclear bomb at New Jersey basketball arena? When they do these play these scenarios out, what always happens? Something like this occurs, right? It's kind of like their run through playbook. Sick, sick, sick. Yes. Are y'all out of the uh, EU? That's awesome. I didn't know that. Uh, got a, uh, South Ireland. They got rid of the uh, minister, but then they got just a, as bad a one in place. You know, guys, they're after... Next thing they're after, they're after your dogs and cats uh, because they think that they're wasted. Uh, but you're going to find out on one of these X things what else they're after. Why does Megan Kelly think Jeffrey Epstein is going to show up this week? She said it like 20 times and she seems very confident. When they run those drills, we all know what happens. So look, these are all... Uh, Palestinian and Hamas, uh, well, people that stormed the Capitol and closed down the Senate cafeteria. Uh, and look at the police standing around doing nothing. Uh, I'm guessing they're not going to round these people up and arrest them and put them in gulag for four years with no trial and no due diligence, even though they're probably not U.S. citizens. So they stormed the Capitol. Closed it down. This is Tuesday. Uh, it says anti-Israeli mob. Well, that's going to have to be uh, some sort of Palestinian Hamas uh, Muslim mixture, right? But they're able to get away, sit in, do anything they want anywhere. Our boys, they're spending their fourth bir four birthday, four years in that prison. All right, these are them. These are the only people that we are able to count on in all of government. Can you even believe that? Does anyone see anyone here that they'd like to call out? Uh, I'd like to call out, I like Matt Gates. I'd like to call out Matt Gates here. Without these 19 votes, FISA, FISA, whatever you want to call it, uh, they could still take a FISA warrant out. Uh, supposedly foreign intelligence, uh, but anytime they were able to pick up a U.S. person talking to anyone in the group, then they could concentrate on him. They're still going to use uh, MI6 and all the other 5i groups to do their, their illegal searches for them. That's how they work, right? That's why they're a group. They're illegal. Uh, does anyone else... Uh, his name is to be all in a year or so. Well, I will say that uh, it looks like most, we got Texas, we got Florida. Virginia is pretty, stat, well, hard to believe. Uh, I see a lot of, there's a Pennsylvania, Scott Perry, Montana, Texas, Florida, Florida, Texas. Uh, Colorado, but it's Lauren. Lauren, way to go, girl. Uh, so these are these are the folks that saved us from four more years of illegal search, illegal search all day long by the FBI and CIA, and they can close all those FISA courts down and fire those judges too while they're at it, right? Well, why do we need them? All right, we got some good stuff coming up. I won't lie to you guys. All right, let's listen. May, may, may I just answer one question raised by your eloquent and absolutely right analysis of the World Economic Forum? And that's what spirit animates them? Well, if you believe people are the problem, then that is, of course, a genocidal spirit. If I believe that the problem with my kitchen is it has too many mice, the solution is to kill the mice. Too many roaches, I kill the roaches. They're the problem. They're the impediment. And so make no mistake, and this sort of tracks with what I was saying earlier, don't lie to yourself about the agenda. 
if people are the problem and you're a person, then your life is in the way of whatever goals they're seeking to achieve. By definition, am I missing something? No, I'm not. But all this, it's so grotesque because, to further elaborate in one sentence, it's a demonic spirit, just to be clear. Any, any spirit that seeks to hurt, kill, divide, demoralize other people is a demonic spirit, by definition. So that's what animates it. You're the target, and don't lie to yourself. Look, that's brand new video, and they're so upset about it, they make it all blurry. They've done that to several of my videos on YouTube, too. Sometimes they make the audio mess up as well. <laughs> All right. How's everybody doing? Uh, you want to see Janine get a little bit, a little bit skitsy? It says, when asked about Hunter Biden's company making direct payments, Joe Biden, Kareem Jean Perrier, she's a famous person, just ask her, scampers faster than Bill Clinton getting off the plane at Epstein Center. Uh, the White House has said repeatedly that the president and his son were never in business together. They said that repeatedly also in this room. Um, according to bank records obtained by the House Oversight Committee, though, uh, one of Hunter Biden's businesses Osawa PC set up direct payments to the president. Direct uh, payments? Did the president accept payment? And why would there be such an arrangement if they were never business together or if there was a wall of separation as the president has previously said? So, so, so uh, I can't speak to that. What do y'all what think she's going to say? What do y'all think she's going to say? Put it down there. Because we all know she's not going to answer the question. She's looking down and to the left. When you look down and to the left... My number one skill set is nonverbal clues. So when I go out, that's why I'm 4,000 deep. I understand nonverbal clues. Down to the left, that means she's making up a lie. Oh, I have to be uh, clear with you. I, I have not seen that report, so I would have to refer oh, you to my I'll colleague bet. over at the White House Counsel's office I'm for getting, that particular question. I'm getting out of here. See you in Boston on Wednesday. Thanks, everybody. I'm out of here. Uh, I thought, told you. This is just some of the stuff that we've seen. Look at energy. Your electric bill, gas bill is up 40%. Gasoline's up 48%, really more than that. Electricity, 29%. Natural gas, 26 Uh you can go through groceries about 21 percent that's probably about perfect eggs 50 percent and you know why because they clean you out milk chicken up 24 percent transportation gosh guys up 33 percent airfare 33 percent who wants to fly public transportation up 22 percent Problem is, is no one got a raise, and this is all fifteen to fifty percent. We need a fifty percent raise immediately. Used cars twenty percent. Apparel, apparel is probably done the best at thirteen point five percent. In other words, you used to pay twenty nine ninety five for your Nike shirt, and now you paid thirty four ninety five. I don't know, but that's probably the sweet spot unless you go to lululemon where my kid likes to go then it's all hundreds of dollars all right y'all gonna like this one this is a swiss banker and wef form a ginger contributor uber keller he wants to take your coffee away now because it emits 15 to 20 tons of co2 per ton of coffee you mean we can't have pets, we can't have coffee, we can't have cars, we can't have... Go! I'd like to get all these folks and have a, a little personal s speech with them. A talk. We'll call it a talk. Let's listen to what he has to say. Another wonderful WEF Forum Agenda Contributor. We'll be having our coffee before the session, and, and you raise the coffee example. I'd love just to give you the chance to expand on that. Basically, the coffee that we all drink 
um, emits between 15 and 20 ton of CO2 per ton of coffee. So we should all know that this is every time we drink coffee, we are basically putting CO2 into the atmosphere. Um, the other, and one of the reasons is because most of the coffee plantation, or most of the coffee is produced through monoculture, and, um, and, and monoculture is also affected by climate change. Um, the quality of these nature assets is uh, deteriorating quite rapidly. We've been having our coffee before the session, and, and you raised the coffee example, I'd love just to... So listen, these people need something to do, like a real job and some bills so that they don't concentrate on people drinking coffee and pets farting? I mean, come on, are they just are they just really trying to gaslight us? I think that that's the obvious situation here. It's got to be a gaslight deal. It just can't be anything else. How could they be serious about taking your pets and coffee away? They already went after the, the well, New York New York City already took all the uh the good pizza, uh, brick oven pizza joints away. Did y'all see? That's real. They took them away. I saw someone <laughs> about to go after Adams over it. Uh, they took all the brick oven pizza joints, which New York, I guess, is not as famous as Chicago for, but New York has its own style pizza, and the good pizza comes out of the brick ovens, and those are the ones that they don't want around. I mean, the whole thing, what about your gas heaters? They don't like those either. What about your anything, anything, your water heater? These people are all a bunch of nuts. All right, this is funny as heck, right? Uh, look, everyone's smiling at first, right? Everyone's smiling at first. But watch what happens when you're dealing with a sociopath. And they're probably both sociopaths, but we'll we'll just watch what happens. You know, Mike, that's totally true, and I don't understand why no one understands that. It's a cycle. The more CO2 uh, that is expelled, the healthier the plants are, and the more oxygen they create. So I don't know what game they're playing here, but it's all just one big slush fun. Now watch what happens when this lady accidentally uses the wrong pronoun, which is now a crime punishable by five or ten years in prison in Ireland. I'm serious. Now a crime, I think a five or ten thousand um, euro, I think they were still part of the euro, uh, fine. Uh, for using the wrong, how do you know what pronoun they are? You look at them, you, I mean, you better ask first. They call it a hate crime to use the wrong pronoun? Uh, is it okay? Cousin it okay with everyone? Let's listen. This is funny. Notice how they're all smiling at first. Good afternoon, Julia. You know what pronouns are they then? How are you doing? Yeah. Um, thank you for telling me your pronouns. I use correct grammar, so the only, the only thing I would need to refer you to is for, to your face would be you, but I'm not being rude, you can choose your pronouns, you can choose what you want to call yourself, but you don't, have, you don't get to require me to use incorrect grammar and factually incorrect things, you're not a plural, you're a, you're a, you're a one person, and you're a, you're a female person, so I will use she and her, thank you very much. Do what you like, I guess. Well, you, you didn't need to tell me then, did you? Maybe I'm just making sure people know in case they're watching and they want to refer to me respectfully. Is it disrespectful for me to use correct factual grammar? It's not incorrect or unfactual grammar to use singular they them pronouns for an individual. But we're here to talk about the cash review. Yeah, but but you but you chose but you chose to bring it up. You chose to use the incorrect pronouns for me. I chose to use the correct, correct pronouns for a single woman who is appearing on my show. I'm not a single woman, though. I'm a very special non-binary trans person, as you just pointed out. What are her so pronouns? I did just point that out. She, she was a journalist in a virgin radio. A journalist? No, just before I came on, you were talking about how people with all these labels like to be special. Before, like before you came on. Okay, I'm not special. I'm just a boring old heterosexual married woman. But, you know, sorry about that. We're not allowed to do that anymore. I, that probably does make me special now. I don't know. 
Ah, oh, that was epic. How's everyone doing? Yes, uh, I see the pride. Hey, you. I mean, you're scared to say anything. Like I said, uh, two countries, I believe uh, Sweden also made it a hate crime. Punchable like 10 years in prison. I mean, all right. This is what everyone's talking about. Megan Kelly. I've been saying Epstein's alive. She said that she knows personally, okay? This is from today, but she's been saying this for two or three weeks, and she expects him to show up any moment here. I don't know if y'all know about this or have seen this. Megan's not lying. She's lost so much credibility and had to gain it back. I don't think she'd be lying. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they have a really good uh, hyper hyper realistic mask and she's gonna wear it let's listen it's only 15 seconds but this is the third or fourth time i've heard her say this we're not done with jeffrey epstein i can tell you that for a fact can't huh? tell you how i know but i can tell you for a fact we're gonna hear a lot more about jeffrey epstein in the coming year uh and you may be even hearing from him directly more on that as i'm allowed to tell you more on that as I'm allowed to tell you. Are you a journalist or an agent? Huh? Done with Jeffrey Epstein. I can tell you that for a fact. Can't tell you how I know, but I can tell you for a fact. We're going to hear a lot more about Jeffrey Epstein in the coming year. Uh, and you may be even hearing from him directly. More on that as I'm allowed to tell you. I want the client list. Everyone in America wants a client list. We pay all the people's salaries and jobs. We know P. Diddy was doing the same thing for the same people. We want the client list. That's why the Speaker of the House turned into a Democrat as soon as he got elected. They have him in a compromised video, we feel sure, right? Look, so this is when Pete Buttig, look, this is James Wood. At 9.32 p.m., the day of this interview, six teens wearing hoodies and masks attacked two people walking their dogs. The 800 block of 9th Street, Northeast D.C. Uh, I won't say what happened to the victims. The reason Pete feels so well safe in D.C. is because he's got 50 bodyguards surrounding him with machine guns. I've seen him travel. Did y'all see the video I did where he was acting like he was biking to work every day, but really it was three Suburbans. They'd take out the bike a quarter mile away, uh, three bikes, two with Secret Service, and then they'd still follow him in with the three Suburbans like he's saving gas and actually have him taken, or had it before YouTube took him down, had him, to, uh, had him a block away taking the bikes out, getting on. So they drove all the way up to it, but before they got there, they thought they were far enough away, but someone caught it on camera. Remember, there's cameras everywhere, Pete. Is Pete on, well, leave again? Uh, a pointy, well, he's not a big guy. He's a uh, non-heterosexual. He went on paternity leave with his girlfriend, boyfriend, I don't want to get their pronouns wrong, so I'm not even going to try, right? As soon as you try, you're in big trouble. So we need to talk about the reality here. And again, there is a, a, a lot. The reality. You can look at the cl uh, crime rate in any city in America, any city. Uh, obviously, he missed those numbers, but listen. Of funding and a lot of energy going into telling a different story, uh, especially on ideological news outlets and online. Uh, but the, the simple facts and the simple reality are right here staring us in the face, including the fact that I can safely walk my dog to the is capital it, today. Is that the Pisaki? Way you do, uh, when, uh, when we all got here. So we need to talk about the reality. It's Pisaki. There's a, a, a lot of funding and a lot of energy 
Two sold out scumbags making up lies. All you got to do is pull the DC crime report and you're going to see the skyrocket in crime since Biden's taken over. You'll see that in every city in the United States. Period. What a joke. Biden's going to think if there's anything he can do to close the border. Well, start using those machine guns that they're uh, toting around and quit fighting Texas that's trying to close the border. Texas would have already closed the border unless the Supreme Court and the Biden administration, at least our border, kept fighting and fighting and fighting and not to. Remember, he finally figured out that none of the immigrants are going to vote for him either, nor are the African Americans, nor are the uh, college students. I can't wait to find out where these 84 million come from. Uh, let's find out how many people are registered to vote because last time we had, well, tens of millions more votes than we actually had people that were registered legally to vote, which confuses me. All right. Look, this is CNN putting the pretty girls on, and they're going to try to explain why. Month of, they've got it down 3.5% past 12 months. Again, this is CNN. Uh, has shelter gone uh, down at all? I can't remember. Shelter. That means home. Your home. Consumer price index, March. They're saying month over month, it's 0.4% up. That's a half percent. If y'all think it's 3.5% in 12 months, well, that means that it's 16.5% minimal uh, the 12 months before that or the 24 months before that. Just more seen in crap. Or inflation, which is a better indicator of sort of what's happening with underlying inflation, mm -hmm. uh, that also picked up. So taking a look at some... Look, March gas is up too. Uh, all these numbers matter because our salaries don't go up, right? Boy, do I have a good video for coming up for you guys. And we don't have a lot left, so stick in there. Because I want y'all to caption something. I want y'all to caption something. Some of the categories we saw in the month of March that continued to increase. So gas prices, that was a pretty big yeah. contributor here, right? It was really gas and shelter, I should say, that contributed to uh, more than half of the increase. Shelter, in, I mean, has shelter gone down at all? I mean, I can't even remember a month where it's actually What about eggs? It's, it, it's a really important point. It hasn't. And so we have been hoping. She's about to get fired if she keeps telling the truth. <laughs> Hoping actually, because if it, you think about shelter, you Listen. think it hasn't, and so we have Listen. been hoping at I mean, has shelter gone down at all? I mean, I can't even remember a month where it's actually gone, gone we've seen it, it, decrease, it right? It's a really important point. It hasn't, and so we have been hoping it actually, because hasn't. if you think about shelter, if you think about rents, for example, mm -hmm. 12 month leases, we were hoping that this was a lagging indicator that we would actually start to get some progress yeah. with shelter, uh, but that didn't, that didn't happen. Uh, all they have is just that didn't happen. Green eras mean bad in this case. Now, if you own the stock, you'd be going, wow, great deal. But green eras in this in this instance, consumer price index, bad. It's inflation. Now, this is the picture I want y'all to caption. This is from a party tonight. I'm going to give everyone some time to caption this. And I want some funny stuff out of you guys, right? Caption this dress here. Caption this outfit. Uh, uh, the Clinton Global Initiative. That, by the way, uh, a whistleblower turned in today. Boy, I couldn't even play that for y'all. It was so bad. But we had a whistleblower turn their whole operation in today. I couldn't put it up. There was zero chance that uh, they wouldn't have struck me. But their one of their inside bookkeepers is or has told all. I guess I could go to the screen and give you all the URL. But the global initiative caption caption what you see here. Uh, I would concentrate on this this tent or dress or what. Is. What country is she from? Ashimoto. So I'll zoom in so y'all can see, and I mean, I can actually make it as big as y'all want to, you know, but 
I can't really tell. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Uh, sorry. What the emblems are. I can't. My eyes just aren't there. I can't see, but you know that they mean something huge. You know they do, right? This is at the Clinton Global Initiative. We had the whistleblower turn them in today, just as they're about to go here. All right. It's a Japanese robe. She figured if she wore that, they wouldn't be able to see the... Uh. Mike, I don't know. Kimono. No? All right, let's see if I'm uh, shaking my head. I I'm guessing that each one of these white things symbolizes one of her friends, the 56 that committed suicide. And the other 300 people close to her that died under well, strange circumstances at young ages. That would be my guess. Let's see if we can get in. It's not an upside down cross like her daughter wears. Whatever it is, it's probably been swung around to the back, right? That'd be the best guess. But they're back at it. They've opened up the Clinton uh, initiative. And they're back at it. Uh, well, they're going to fix Ukraine up now. That's their new global initiative. Their new global slush fund. <laughs> I think we all know that, right? It looks like a slice of pizza to me. Like pepperoni pizza. I think Monica is under there. You know she's gotten so heavy that they don't want y'all to see how heavy she's gotten. She weighs about 250 pounds, maybe more. She would whip my butt, I'll tell you that. So they put a Komoto on her, right? Uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, Komodo is derived from Wu Dynasty. Millions of kids and people around the world. Good one, Aurora. All right. So y'all don't have a great caption for that one? That's all right. We'll keep going. All right. Uh, this is my house here. In tech, this is Sydney, Australia, really, but... Every time in the corners, now I don't know if these are deadly spiders or not, but uh, could you imagine if they are? God, they would just attack. Do y'all like spiders? I mean, they look like deadly brown recluse spiders, the biggest ones I've ever seen. And they're very aware of that person right there. That's even scarier. Uh... I had one come down from the ceiling here in my studio, land on my microphone. Th th thought he was going to get away. He got away for a second, but I got him. Thought he was going to get away. He was so small. I think that's... I think he bit me, but it went away. I think he was big enough to do a lot of damage. All right. Let's, let's, listen... I like old Representative Byron Donalds. I won't, I won't lie. I don't think he's quite ready for VP yet, but I do like uh, this guy. He's from Florida, and this was 458 after they said no more FISA judges or warrants. Now, granted, those people are all on full pension. Go ahead and fire me. Close the operation down. The, gov uh, the whole United States of America is against illegal, illegal 
court proceedings that are done in the dark of night, hiding things from the public. It's, it's representation in government by the people for the people, not something done in a back room. So you can extort money out of people, you jack rabbits. It does the president's uh, bashing of this bill because of what's happened to him, does that have anything to do with what the members are thinking or saying? Uh, not as much. I think the, the, president, the president is right that uh, the current uh, form of FISA has to die. He is right on that, the members agree with that. Uh, the question becomes how many different ideas are going to be allowed to be a part of the House package on, on our reauthorizing FISA. Smart guy, smart guy. Uh, this got this deal's got to stop, right? Got to stop these these illegal searches. What there were over? They admitted over two thousand five hundred of them. The FBI on American citizens. How many you really think happened? About all everyone's being surveilled by AT and T and Verizon in that bombproof building in New York City. Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, this is a question. Would you be, there's only 10% of the people that are going to survive if they shut the electric off on us, which is definitely within their plans, okay? They're thinking that about 90% of the people won't survive. Of course, a lot of people won't get their medicine. Over in 30 days, they're out of medicine. They can't get it anymore. Well, for a lot of those people, it's came over. Uh, a lot of people are on even things that need to uh, have electricity every night, breathing machines, things of this nature, dialysis machines, things of that nature. Uh, a lot of people just aren't ready. Well, none of our, I think there should be a manual option to everything we do. Like the gas pumps, I think they should have a manual pump on the side of them. Why not? What would that cost? Another 10 bucks? Let's listen to what he has to say. If we truly have an outage that is nationwide, that last nine months, the EMP commission, they found that as many as 90% of Americans would die. 90% of Americans, that's what's 90% of 360 million people. That's, yeah, so it's like 300 million. So. 300 million people yeah. wiped off the map yeah. just like that. And how, how long did you say that would take? Nine months. Nine months? I, that, and what does it look like if our power grid goes down? So it really becomes almost zombie apocalypse. And it's horrific because we... Within three days or two days, it gets so crazy out on the streets, guys. You want to be behind me and my 100-round 12-gauge, right? Uh, and I don't want to be in front of you. I won't lie to you. Uh, we'll see what happens, but that's part of the plan for sure. Think about losing the rule of law. And so we have George Carlin, you know, a clip from, you know, one of his comedy tours in the movie. And he says, you can't count on the police or the National Guard to be at home protecting their own family. There's literally nothing, which is going to nothing. There are no supply chains. There are no. There is no water. There is no food. There is no fuel. Everything that you have come to know, all the both luxuries and necessities in life, are fueled by the power grid. That's going to create chaos because when people get hungry, everything. No grocery stores. No trucks to bring anything around. No gas in your car, uh, a bicycle, an armored suit, and a machine gun. I mean, it's going to be your best bet, right? Unless you can get, well, you can't get electricity either, can you? Huh. And they get thirsty. Desperation sets in. There's no more friends. There's no more communities. People are going to do whatever they need to do to enable their families and themselves survive. Fast thinker, that is correct. I know a lot of these ladies especially think they're ascending. The only reason the Schumann resonance spikes so much higher than it did, it never spiked over 37 hertz till 2017. 
The reason is, and once I figured out what was going on, you can find a million papers by much smarter people than me about it. It's because our atmosphere is collapsing. It's bouncing off what's the closest layer to the ground called the D region. You've heard of that from our Space Weather Prediction Center. D region. Uh, above the D region is the E and an F region. These are all parts of our atmosphere. A lot of the E and F uh, just have collapsed down to the D region. So what's going on is when lightning strikes, it bounces off a much lower part of the atmosphere and hits those geophones and ULF and ELF sensors at about 200 times the energy it used to because it used to pass right through the D region into the E region and F region and then rebound off to hit the geophones, the ULF and ELF sensors, the second SR frequency sensors. As soon as I figured it out, you can type all that in and you'll find all the smart kids that already figured it out. Uh, the ones that think they're ascending, I just feel bad. Look around. Does this look like ascension to you? Because if anyone thinks this looks like ascension to them, well, we're going to have to start you over in kindergarten. Sorry, not trying to be rude. I'm just saying, if anyone thinks this is ascension going on around the world right now, then it's, well, it's, it's on you, okay? There's no ascending going on. And Schumann has nothing to do with space weather whatsoever. You'll never, ever, 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 ever see heavy space weather and a Schumann resident spike that's heavy. You know why? You know why? Of course, part of my whole, it was a hypothesis until I knew it was going on and typed it in. It's because the shields are like calluses on your feet. The more you use them, i.e. if space weather's coming in, they pop right up and start to get stronger and stronger. That's why you never see. You will never, even with lightning, over. Someone says, uh, somebody, I said, we've always had lightning. We've always had lightning. But the Schumann residents never measured over 37 hertz until 2017. When the atmosphere collapsed or is collapsing because I think because of the well pole magnetic pole shift which I did look up today by the way and I'm putting something together on it so that's what's really going on with that there's no ascension if y'all can look around it should be obvious to you guys that no one's ascending around you right uh, I guess that's a way to keep positive and I don't want to take that away from you. But you have to also be reasonable. Uh, if the leaders act like they're in kindergarten, where is the ascension happening? Uh, please explain, please. Because we went from 37 max on the Schumann, and we're up to about 270 max on the Schumann now. All it is, is it's bouncing off a lower region of the atmosphere and hitting the sensors much harder and quicker. Period. Live. It's just going to be mass chaos in the streets. There is nobody coming. How are they going to fuel helicopters to bring supplies in? They're not. Even if you had some backup generators and some people, you know, some institute. So the lack of diesel, I've told you all this, the lack of baby milk, all that was never a lack. They were just putting it in their barriers or dumps wherever they are planning on going here. I guess y'all all have heard that somehow scientists know that uh, Betelgeuse will hypernova along with another star that's only 30,000 light years away before the end of the year. How do they know that? Are they going to set, set something off up in the atmosphere? I mean... They said it will be as, as bright as the sun, but it should not hurt us. Now, that doesn't sound possible. From 30 light years away, and Beetlejuice is probably further than that. So, they've actually, they haven't guessed. They came out and said it. NASA says that Beetlejuice, and there's another one, I forgot the star. Are gonna hyper or micro? They didn't say micro. They said hypernova or nova 
before the end of 2024. How do they know that? How, how could they possibly know that? Now, we've seen our sun flash, and that's a precursor, those flashes, to a nova. Could be a micronova, which would be deadly for most all, all of the Earth. Could be a, a real nova. I just don't think we're going to face a real nova. I think a micronova would be like an X100, and I believe the Carrington event was an X20. Um, almost positive it was an X20. It got here in 18 hours. Imagine a micronova uh, that was five times more powerful. It would burn everything to the ground. Institutions like hospitals or apartments might have, but then how much diesel supply do you have? And sometimes it's three days, maybe one. That when when they told y'all that there was a shortage of diesel, do y'all remember that for months? They were storing diesel for their generators. When they told y'all there was a shortage of baby, uh, I want to call it milk, but we all know what it's called. Uh, they were storing it. There's not ever been a shortage, okay? All that was just bull crap. Because these were essentials that in the last moment, they realized that their, they and their families and all the bureaucrats that they plan on sticking away in these tunnels will need all this. Can you believe that Putin, Putin made a, a shelter, a nuclear shelter for every single one of the families in his country? And his military budget is, let's see what his military budget is. It's seventy-four billion dollars, and ours is two point seven trillion this year. It was two point four trillion last year. Uh, hell, might be thirty days, but then your diesel's not going to be delivered because there's going to be chaos. If we true, you know, Bill was throwing up a little bit in his mouth. All right, Elon Musk. This is right out Elon Musk, and it's going to tell a lot of truth about what's going on in Brazil. I told y'all the U.S. put Luna in, and the conservative that was fighting for freedom of speech, freedom of everything, they took him out. Now, this is a call that was caught, uh, and Elon actually posted this himself. Uh, let's take a listen. Because all the other channels of communication, uh, Meta, Google, YouTube, every, everyone else, they've been very forthcoming to acquiesce to the judiciary intervention. So except for X, so X is the only one that's standing alone saying, look, we're not going to, we're not going to violate the law. <laughs> and every other channel is saying, okay, we're going to violate the law. Because uh, we fear, you know, that the judiciary is out of control and they might come after us. So uh, this is what's going on in Brazil. It's, it's, it's totally, totally correct. Yes. Yes. So the U.S. was involved. You can be sure of it. Same voting companies, same voting machines. Uh, no one voted for Lula. Everyone got in the streets. They can't stop him. Uh, he's straight, WEF, straight. Uh, well, everything bad in the world. And the good guy, well, uh, I, have they arrested him? I know they did in Columbia. They arrested the, what was it, Columbia? Uh, I'm, it might be here where they arrested the good, good guy. They stormed the embassy. Where was that? And arrested the good guy? Yes. Uh, in Brazil, I believe they stormed the em embassy. Uh, I forgot if it was the Ecuadorian embassy or what embassy, Colombian embassy, and took the old president and said that he had lied on his, well, jab paperwork. And so they stormed the whole embassy over it. If it was me as president, I would have, well, stormed their embassy here, right? Good thing I'm not president. It'd be a bad idea for people. Tim Pool. I'm trying to see what I was looking at here. God, there's some scary people in the world here. Oh, 
There's Megan. There's the freaks. This lady beats this little boy up. I'm not going to watch that again. That's for sure. And then my shit seems to come up as much as anyone's stuff. I probably put out more content than everybody else. Look. What do you call that? I don't know. All right. Here we go. So, this is what y'all need to know. Australian banks are already refusing cash withdrawals for their customers. I thought it was absolutely crazy. How can you go to the bank and not get your own money out? I thought she misheard what I wanted. What is in the what in the bank is there no cash? They just said, I'm sorry, we can't help you. You can't help me. I want my money, and I've told y'all, why do you keep your money in a bank? I've, I've asked y'all all this. Uh, I keep it in many different forms. Uh, remember, the best way to keep it, and I've taught y'all this trick, is in very well-established, very well-funded casino chips in their safe. You'll always have them. You can always walk in and cash out. Uh, you know, I mean... The, you can't always do anything, but uh, millionaires and billionaires keep a lot of their money in casino chips at some of the biggest casinos in the world, in the vault, because that's something that no one knows about. No one pays taxes on it until it's cashed out. Nobody. So if you keep a lot of chips in the vault they give you free sweets they give you free food they give you free everything trust me i know remember my dad was the architect on the Beauvais or bellagio where he did the golden nugget but when uh so i know i'm part of the family if you will so listen well outrage in queensland tonight after a local woman rocked up to her bank to withdraw cash only, be, only to be told they didn't have any. Taryn Compton wanted to grab some cash to pay a trade, but when she got to the ANZ ATM, she realized she'd forgotten her FPOS card when she asked the teller for the money instead. She was told the bank doesn't carry cash. And Taryn Compton's here to tell us all about their terrible banking experience. Taryn, what do you think when you walk into a bank? Are they going to be told they don't have cash? Your bank and your I cash. That was absolutely crazy. I thought she must have misheard what I wanted, if I might have. How can you go to a bank and not be able to get your own money out? Taryn, that's what I'm confused about. So what's in the bank if there's no cash? Isn't there, a, like, in the, if you open up the safe, what's in there? What is, how did they explain it to you? They just said, I'm so sorry, we can't help you. There's nothing we can do. We don't have cash here. So did you think maybe that was a temporary situation? <laughs> that maybe they were going to get some cash? Does she have a poor social credit score or what? It's tomorrow. <laughs> no, she actually said we don't carry cash anymore. Well, outrage in Queensland tonight after a local woman rocked up to her bank to withdraw cash only, be, only to be told they didn't have any. Taryn Compton wanted to grab some notes to pay a trade, but when she got to the ANZ ATM, she realized she'd forgotten her FPOS card when she asked the teller for the money instead. She was told the bank doesn't carry cash. So here's a rule that I live by. Uh, at most, I would keep about a month and a half to two months of cash available in a bank. And that's savings and checking. Uh... Mostly just checking, put $5, $10 in your savings, and use a checking account. Uh, but a month, month and a half of money in there is, you know, if something happens so bad that you need more money than that all of a sudden, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. I'm just saying. All right. It's early, early, early. What do y'all want to do next? Uh, has anyone heard about any news that James missed today? Guys, I've been running around with my head cut off. I got more accomplished today than I've gotten accomplished since my stroke. Uh, I really have. I, if I gave y'all a list... I caught up on everything, even my taxes from 2023. Um, you have no idea what I've done today. So I didn't get a lot of content out. But if there's anything I missed, 
and I know about all the shootings. I can't put that stuff up on YouTube. I know about, uh, you know, I know about the, the really big stories. But if there's something I miss that can go on YouTube, I really appreciate y'all's two hours. You're not blocked. I didn't block you. Uh, drama quit whining all right so we're gonna do a we're gonna do a poll uh let's see here how, how we gonna do this we're gonna do one more quick live it's up to you guys up to you guys uh Oh, we love you, Teresa. Uh, you're always on point. Lots of love. I know you're probably going to go deliver to the people that need food, you know? I went those seven days with just water only and didn't have a bite. I didn't get hungry, but you know what? I had enough fat on me that I was okay. I always feel terrible, uh, especially for children that don't have enough to eat. That's why, it's, that's the only thing I like about public school systems is if uh, the parents are not, well, well, can't afford, and food is expensive, I won't lie. We keep money on my daughter's account, and she brings her lunch to school every day, so she can vice versa, because she is very, very picky, right? And so you name it, Uh, is fine. Put, I name it, and then name what you name. And we'll just sit here and talk for a second. How you all's doing? You all's doing? You know, I, I, I've got so much done today. It's unbelievable. I had three of my, uh, well, this sounds like nothing, but first off, I got all my receipts, put it in the computer. Uh, then I could get to my files. Uh, then I put the the string through one pair of Nike shorts and two pair of Nike warm-ups sh uh, pants. With a, you have to use a uh, diaper clip, I guess you call it, and feed it through there. Then I... Uh, did all the laundry. Then I ordered new Ralph Lauren silk sheets because I need a good night of sleep. You know, uh, if y'all saw my sheets, it's embarrassing. My comforter is not, but uh, my sheets have gotten embarrassing over not the recovery. I felt like I had never had a stroke today, so... Although my eye is still just about blind, I have my dad's surgery coming up on Monday, and uh, really worried about that. It's full anesthesia. Really worried about that. I personally have had five relatives die or have strokes uh, because of the anesthesia, right? I mean, it's almost like you're going to live three or four more years anyway, even with your cancer. Why are you doing this? Uh, but you don't want to say that because that puts a negative into the equation. And you want to keep it positive. But uh, my d daughter doesn't know anything. And, you know, my daughter likes my father more than me or my ex-wife. And definitely more than the uh, mother-in-law and her fifth husband, right? So, uh, we're not going to, my dad wants to call, call the little one on Sunday, so I'm going to set that up. Hopefully he doesn't say anything. Uh, I'm going to kind of prep him. I'm not going to prep her, 
I just want her to think it's a regular call. Of course, my dad's worried. Uh, and told me to set it up. I'll try to keep it cool. You know, I worry about, I've got a surgery too on the 29th, 30th, 31st, something like that, first. But you know what? I'm more worried about his by far than me. If something happens to me, well, then something happens to me, but I've always been able to control things, as in my school grades, as in my pitch, my pitching, as in uh, my sports careers, as in my oil and gas careers, as in everything I've done. I've always been in control. And as I get older, I lose more and more control, and it really bothers me. But I also realize it's part of life's lessons. You lose control because, well, these are the hard lessons. If you don't have any hard lessons, then you haven't really made it through the jungle gym of life, right? So, T.Y. Ward, where are you looking to work? Uh, so Cal, the comet was never near Jupiter. That was just some dude that was, that was Mr. B&B &B and he was totally wrong. Totally wrong. Uh, I've got the comet that flew right by the sun and disintegrated. Uh, I did see several reports. You know what? I'm not going to say they're totally wrong, but, uh, I think a lot of people, jump onto anything people that really don't have a telescope and really don't know what's going on uh, say, period. It's much easier to do than actually investigate it yourself, right? So, T.Y., what are you applying to do? Chicago, Osmobile Thompson, Chicago is not the safe place. There's T.Y. James Kaufman, World News Report today. Who am I speaking with? This is Tyler Ward. T.Y. What's up, bro? So you hey, said... You have permission to take me live. Thank you. How you doing, man? A little really disappointed. What happened? What, what happened? Um, oh, well, I think the first problem was I went to Target. Right? <laughs> I thought I was on Target, but apparently I wasn't. Um, I've been doing videos uh, where I return uh, grocery carts to, and I, mean, and I don't know really, maybe this is the problem that I'm I'm showcasing, but I'm doing it for motivation purposes. I'm Maybe because I'm showcasing my charitable acts, and you're not supposed to do that. But I'm trying to do it to motivate others to do the same thing. So my intentions are good, but at this, so I, after returning... Uh, you know those baby carriage carts? Return one of those yeah. to Target. Um, I, re I just returned another one to Target. Um, and I'm like, you know what? Let me... It's 
incident that happened with me at Target way back when I was a kid and dumb, and nothing ever came of it. Um, but so I go there to buy a pair of AirPod Pros that are on sale, and they literally a fake Chinese. They wrapped up everything exactly. There's a braided cable. That one threw me off because I'm pretty sure Apple never has braided cables. So I was like, that's a little weird. Right. Maybe they changed it. Right. And I look at the, the case. The charger doesn't fit inside of the unit that's in here. So what happens so, is is people buy them on uh, these uh, other sites. They go buy the real ones at Target, and then they return the fake ones. That's yep, designed that, by AK in China. Yep. It says on the back. So that's the scam. You buy them on Wish for like four bucks. Yeah. Uh, you put them in the same box that you go buy from. Then you return the two, three hundred dollar deals. And the next guy, what's he going to do? How's he going to prove that he didn't do it? it exactly. I'm like, oh my God. But let me the say, ear pods are terrible for you. It brings uh, electricity too yeah, close was, to your brain. Oh, shit. Well, maybe that's the point. I really think God... I prayed uh, really hard with my uncle the other day, and every uh, I started driving the other day. I'm not even joking. This actually, like... I used to get completely irritated while driving on the road. We did a prayer together, and now I'm laughing at the dumb drivers on the road instead of getting mad. Well, now, it, even... Now the red light, I'm finding an email to write. Or, you know what? Or, or, or an update to read or something to post. And that's what I always do is I'm always on... Uh, that seems to be the safe time to look at the phone, right? But, yeah, but you know what? Yeah. Don't, don't judge anyone because it's so hard to imagine. You're so young. Uh, these are the best times of your life, let me just tell you. And things just go so further downhill than you could ever imagine. Even if you make tens of millions of dollars in your life, I'm letting you know right now from experience that things are going to go downhill no matter what. And now for all of us, basically, because of what's been going on with this uh, this WF and UN and EU and all this crap. So it's a real... As long as we, as long as we stick together, we're going to move up. Well, that's, you know... That's how the Jews work. They only do business with Jews. And that's yeah, why... They, they only focus on money. Yes, but th they do any type of business only with Jews. Doesn't matter what kind of business, right? Uh, uh, you can, you can say that's, that's their correct. focus. Yeah, you, you, you can say that's their focus. But if any group did that same type of thing, uh, they would... Uh, because the other groups also will do business with the Jews, right? So then they get all the Jews doing business with them. Now, you got to realize, Kaufman, I'm a Jew, right? But I'm a Catholic, or, or was. I'm Christian, I think. Uh, <laughs> anyway, there's the Jews, and then there are the, Par the Pharisees, or the Par whatever pronounce it. It's called the... Well, what is the uh, Eastern Ukrainian Jews, the Kazakhstanian uh, Jew the Mafia? Church. I think it's Kazakhstanian Jew Mafia or something like that. Those are the people really running this war over there. Uh, can anyone help me there? Kazar, Kazars, and that's the Kelnos. Uh, they're the real Jews, and they're over there in eastern, eastern Ukraine, and they're still running the money show around the whole world. And they're, these are all slush funds going through what Kel said here, the Khazar Jews, and y'all can look them up, they're all located in, of course, eastern Ukraine, right? And... Those are the guys you got to watch out for, you know. I was Anatolia. Anna, Anna uh, Kazakhstan's. Uh, the Kazakhstan is actually a country, but I think Kazars. I think she's got it right, but it's something close to that. Karait. K a r a i t e. Uh, uh, everyone, you know, everyone now has a different answer, so I'm confused. Oh, Ottoman 
No, no. Let's see. They both have the same type of architecture, and that's the only reason I mentioned it. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm learning. Hey, we're all learning. You know what? If there's a day you wake up and you don't learn, well, Ooh. you're the loser. Uh, that's true. All right. So we're going to do a simple... Uh, I find it really strange that all the earthquakes in New Jersey and Virginia were exactly five kilometers. That's not a default. That's how deep they were. That means they were all exactly right where I would put a tunnel. Uh, if you get any lower than that, the rock gets too hot. I've drilled down to about 24,000 feet and I mean, you start losing bits and, and pipe and all kinds of shit at that distance. So they're about three miles down, which is the sweet spot. Uh, and every earthquake we've seen over the last three days, and I'm not saying that they're bombing dumbs or there's any kind of fighting going underground, but with that five kilometers on every single quake, like 14 of them, I start to wonder, especially when I see maps of dumbs going from Virginia to Maryland, right? Or roads. We all have to wonder. Oh, well, that Lone Burger has got the best comment I've seen in a while. Uh, who's that, sir? Lois? Yeah, Lois Burger. I don't know if I can say it uh, <coughs> on live, but birds same feathers stick together. But got to be in the right flock, otherwise you're picking ass with the chickens. <laughs> right. And everyone here needs to think about this, because, well... Uh, you know, I keep telling you guys, we are the White Hats. Everyone else thought, uh, a lot of people left the channel because I laughed at them when they thought 10 kilometers was uh, some kind of dumb. I said, well, that's over six miles into the earth. The dumb, Anything would melt down there. That's if, and I try to show you all, there's a asterisk on USGS and everywhere. 10 kilometers is a default depth when they can't find, figure out by triangulating uh, how deep the earthquake actually was. But five kilometers never has been. That's about three miles. About three miles. All right, T.Y. Ward, we're going we're gonna to be back soon, guys, with uh, volcanoes, earthquakes, and some of the weather going on. Thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you, people, for joining us. We will see you very shortly. God bless you guys. Remember, guys, anything's possible in Bizarro World.